Продовжуємо роботу. We continue our work in the Ukraine crisis media center, and now we're going to speak about the um, announcement of the Forum of Credit Unions. Olga Moroz, president of the All Ukrainian Association of Credit Unions, Petro Kazanets, president of the National Association of Credit Unions of Ukraine, Viktor Manuk, member of the Parliament of Ukraine, chairman of the subcommittee of non-bank and financial institution, Petro Mukovsky, chairman of the organizing committee of the World Festival of Ukrainian Credit Unions, and Alexander Krivenko, spokesman, member of the organizing committee of the World Festival of Ukrainian uh, credit unions. And now I give the floor to the moderator of the meeting. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm really glad that we continue cooperation with the Ukrainian Crisis Media Center. And we have the opportunity to inform about one of the most important events of August. This is Forum of Credit Unions that will be during 10 till um, 12 of August in Strichina and Pitgirtsi village. And this event will be a part of uh, the World Forum of uh, Credit Unions. This was started five years ago, and it was envisaged that it will be an action and yearly credit unions members will meet and speak about their achievements. And uh, in five years, we would have uh, also an event in Strishina, but some historic events delayed our plans, Russian aggression and credit unions they faced the challenge. They helped and continue to help our servicemen at frontline, those who suffered. Times changes, and the credit unions continue their important work. And uh, they share experience, and they want to invite their counterparts, their old and new friends, from state bodies, NGOs, all those for whom credit cooperation is not just empty words, but people, they get united for a good cause. Finances work for the benefit of the communities, and today we're going to speak about it. First, I would like to give the floor to Piotr Makovsky. And uh, he is chairman of the organizing committee of the World Festival of, Ukra uh, of Ukrainian Credit Unions. Thank you, Alexander. I represent financial institution that is the oldest in Ukraine. So uh, we were started as Privat Bank was started and uh, also uh, it gave rise to the revival of cooperative movement of credit unions. Two words about credit union. This is history. Credit unions in the West and in the East of Ukraine, they existed long before, before 1939 and 1924 in the East of Ukraine. And this was the powerful system of credit cooperation that was included to the overall cooperation of Ukrainians. We know brands, Maslow Union, Maslow Soyuz, Maslow Union. This is the milk corporation exported the products to Europe. In 1992, this idea reappeared among the Ukrainians in the West, and uh, it uh, was put in the important, uh, so they had the uh, 13 people who got united, and now we have 40,000 people we serve, and uh, uh, 25 million, this is our um, equity, and um, 
This is not a commercial structure. This is a structure not for profit. It was created in order to provide financial services to population, those who are not rich. And uh, these people are lower than average income. And uh, this is a step to go to a middle level to get finances, to get money, to establish one's uh, own uh, business. And also unions um, help society and develop communities. Cooperative principle is to help community and it is realized by us. Uh, also in the form of the World Festival of uh, Credit Unions. So I would like to show how it was five years ago. Please show. In 2012, there was a festival of uh, credit unions, and this festival encompasses many events. They show the strength of our unions and our service to people. People went from different countries of the world. the address of the priest. They traveled routes and took part in the contest of author songs. And also 27 painters presented their works had the opportunity to meet 16 authors and also held a forum of credit cooperation. And this event ended by Ethno Festival in Rosgirche in Strichina in the Capacians near wonderful mountain river. Nina Matvienka, hero of Ukraine, was the head of the jury. Olga Kulova from Donetsk became the winner of this festival. And uh, after five years, how the relationship changed between communities and the unions? What are the challenges and problems? And uh, what are the initiatives that we didn't have five years ago? And what do you plan to discuss during the forum? Five years ago, during over these five years, we had critical events and it reflected on the unions and the credit unions. They report to the National Commission of uh, Financial Services. These are 350 that were introduced in the register. And um, at the start of the war, we had 700 and now uh, the number decreased 
and in, in controlled territories and in Crimea. And uh, the new law should be adopted in order to improve conditions for economic development of people. And also we should take into account that during uh, the last years, 87 banks went bankrupt, uh, so the trust to financial institutions decreased. And in this situation, I believe credit unions, uh, they do not have guarantees on the deposits and uh, there is no support for refinancing. Uh, but uh, uh, we have two powerful associations of the unions that operate and they have uh, the union um, organization of a secondary level that allows us to efficiently use the resources. And this is the best way of self-organization of the structures that independently, without the support of the state, they survive and help Ukrainians. Thank you, Petro. We should focus on the fact that during all the crisis, uh, 2008 uh, and other crises, uh, credit unions, they didn't stop their service. They continued to provide credit to the members, and uh, this is their difference, and uh, they have less financial resources, but at the same time, they are responsible in forecasting the financial market situation, and they were able to have the high level of service and um, uh, I would like to give the floor to Petr Kazanets. This is one of the veterans of Ukrainian cooperation. And um, in uh, 2000, due to international support of our partners, we started to create a system of credit unions. Welcome, Petr. And, um, um, my colleague said that uh, we mark 25th anniversary of revival of credit unions of Ukraine. Imagine 1992 and all the older, uh, older generation, they remember the inflation and the situation and the economy. And in this time, these were difficult times for the state and the credit unions became uh, started to appear. And in the United States, um, uh, credit unions started to actively develop uh, in times of depression and then also in 19th century in Germany. Uh, they are created in difficult situations. Um, I won't take much time. I mentioned, would mention several figures. And Alexander said that credit unions in, in 1999 and it, in 2009, the majority of credit unions continued to credit. They didn't stop. So um, there were some objective and uh, subjective reasons. There was a cre crisis of uh, 2009. The majority of credit unions, they continued their work in 2006, 7, and 8. Each year, credit unions provided half a million up to one million of credits. So we compared with banks. If we compare um, them in a year, they provide one million, and one million people got this money. This is for farming, for different types of activities. It is difficult to compare because uh, these unions, they are necessary, they are important for people. And uh, one union provide credits, I mean, in terms of numbers, they provide more than 28 banking institutions taken together. If we uh, consider the number of people that get this credit, so um, credit unions, and you know that the United States government takes decision and provide multi-million help, technical help, in order to revive and make active the un credit unions in Ukraine. Unfortunately, for the last three years, we had hopes, but we didn't feel support of the state. And what we have, the result. 
Um, the um, credit unions movement, uh, it develops, so we have less of these unions, but during this time, seven years, they are uh, in recession. And uh, um, so uh, the you know that uh, money costs dif differently in different institutions and um, um, uh, Lombards, they provide uh, money at higher cost than credit unions. Mr. Romanik is present here, and uh, this is, uh, he represents uh, um, the financial committee, and we are grateful uh, to them, and we want this, this law on credit unions will be adopted till the end of this year, because the first draft law on uh, uh, it was introduced to the Supreme Clause in 2009, eight years ago. So this is the attitude of our state towards this issue. That's why the National Association supports the necessity to hold this forum. And as Petro said it correctly, this place is uh, uh, that this credit union is, uh, uh, as of now, is 25 years. And this is stable. And this is an example uh, for us. And we want to see guests from Ukraine and from abroad. And we want to convince the state that we should, uh, um, that they should support credit unions. Thank you, Mr. Petro. Uh, and the credit unions historically indeed were, uh, they emerged in rural uh, area. The sober uh, societies uh, emerged and the church uh, uh, was very interested in helping peasants. Uh, they were in needy and Ukrainian lands. Uh, they were under the reign of uh, other countries, uh, other states. The first credit unions which emerged in rural uh, area, uh, they released uh, those uh, peasants uh, and now we return to provision of uh, loans by credit unions uh, to village uh, residents uh, where there are no affiliates, bank affiliates or, or other um, possibilities to get loans. <coughs> and now we will be talking about this Status of uh, uh, credit uh, uh, unions development, and we are giving the floor to Ms. Olga Maros, uh, uh, who uh, recently uh, has become the president of the All Ukrainian Association of Credit Unions, which I, I think uh, protects uh, <coughs> members of association and. Uh, image of cooperation, positive image of cooperation. Thank you, dear colleagues. Today, 60,000 credit unions are in operation in the world. They unite more than 6 million people. More than 400 of them uh, are uh, situated in Ukraine, and credit unions provide loans uh, and uh, attract money, raise money uh, for deposits. Uh, they support libraries, museums, uh, many funds. Uh, they provide a charitable contribution and from there proceeds to support uh, our uh, military men. Uh, our army and uh, maybe the accent shifted uh, to rehabilitation uh, activities. I talked today with COSIV Credit Union President Ms. Davgun, and they are uh, performing uh, large activities to support uh, our soldiers who are back. Uh, to the peaceful life, and they need support in rehabilitation. And uh, also, large assistance is provided by uh, 
uh, to green loans, uh, green credits, energy saving credits, uh, they cooperate with local authorities, and, uh, uh, they are, they enjoy uh, trust and confidence of people of what uh, we need from the state uh, the market develops when there is a foundation which is uh, created uh, not only by communities but also by the state i would like to thank the national regulator for transparent licensing uh, of credit unions and cooperation of the national regulator and the ministry of economic development and trade and other regulators national Bank and Commission on the stock market uh, in the issues uh, of uh, including five million euros to capital of uh, uh, and uh, we are two unions and we want uh, uh, exclusions to, to be introduced to be incorporated into the association agreement between Ukraine and the EU but we face it, the basic fundamental principles such as uh, credit union is a cooperative organization and its proceeds should be invested uh, into support of community Unities uh, and uh, from July 1st, uh, they are not included into non profit organizations register, even if they uh, meet, uh, uh, if, even if they are eligible according to the regulations. If we uh, look uh, on uh, the forum of credit unions, as my colleague says, the main thing which should be discussed uh, and it will be discussed is how to strengthen movement of credit unions, the system of credit unions, uh, they are the issues. Uh, a cooperation with NGOs, uh, religious organizations, uh, cooperatives, how credit unions can provide more services to their members, what kind of services, uh, what types of services, how to protect their members, how to protect deposits, where to get financing. There are many, many issues, and I hope that the result of this meeting, uh, along with international partners and uh, governmental authorities and MPs, is the, some uh, roadmap or lines uh, will be uh, developed, and this will be developed uh, uh, collectively on collective basis because uh, uh, co this uh, collective decision making is the core of credit union movement. Thank you, Ms. Olga. I know that both associations also care about uh, the problems of their members who are depositors because uh, when there is no uh, state system of guaranteeing uh, public deposits was it's uh, in credit union someone should take care of this issue and we hope that these two associations and activists efforts uh, will help to build mechanisms of protection where people uh, understanding the risks but when uh, uh, for some reasons, for some abuses of uh, separate credit unions, they may lose money and uh, 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 lose their deposits. Uh, indeed. And I'm giving the floor to Viktor Romanyuk, Member of Parliament of Ukraine, Chairman of Subcommittee on, of Non-Bank Financial Institutions. Uh, you have been uh, recently saying that you believe in credit cooperation and its component credit unions because the system demonstrated sufficiently and uh, it is based on independence and the responsibility of people by their own money. Uh, liability by their own money. Can, can you give us uh, your opinion? What for such uh, uh, 
meeting are needed. Maybe they should be held more often. Good afternoon. First of all, I am. Uh, I like very much uh, the thesis of uh, Renaissance. Uh, I don't like formula of independence. We just restored our independence, uh, and uh, we continue the school of cooperation, which is historically present in Ukraine. It is interesting, uh, interesting that there was no legislation those days, but people understood economic mechanisms, uh, mechanisms of incentives, that this is the only mechanism of uh, uh, self-sustainability, uh, viability. Uh, in modern times, we have 26 years of independence of our state, and they demonstrated several markets they, which are important. If a big group of people uh, give uh, transfer responsibility to small group of people as it was uh, uh, in our bank uh, system this uh, everything goes bad and results uh, in bad things for this large uh, uh, community uh, only 600 uh, persons uh, were oh, uh, oh, holding those money, those 600 individuals who presided Ukrainian banks, they decided to preserve their own capital, uh, their own lives. Uh, they were motivated only by their own interests, but not by the general public interests. And the outflow of uh, capital from Ukraine uh, took place. Uh, and and our people uh, lost their money and uh, now they uh, are really in need. Uh, they were mechanisms which should have been developed and jobs should have been provided. The National Bank was in trend of those 600 people who managed the, uh, the bank system. Uh, we uh, lost and our state lost uh, because the active population outflowed to other countries and uh, the country uh, now uh, recessed to the level of 1994. Uh, what we have in the uh, credit union system, there are vivid examples those who are fair, bona fide work uh, with communities, uh, they saved both uh, the money and the image. So taking into consideration that Ukraine in, this, in the period of transformation from post-Soviet society to democratic society, whether we want this process or not, some historic process is launched, main markets uh, in CIS, uh, previously uh, were situated uh, external creditors, external uh, factors uh, will influence uh, uh, seeking a lower role of the state because the state can't uh, um, meet all its uh, uh, liabilities. Uh, uh, the astronomic amount was paid by taxpayers. This is the phenomenon and no positive effect. Then uh, bank owners understood that this is better to uh, break the system, break it down completely. There are hundreds of uh, examples uh, when from uh, f fund of guarantee and deposit guarantee and uh, Oh, let's uh, go back to the topic. Uh, adopting legislation, lobby in interest of credit unions, uh, uh, we should think of uh, tomorrow, not about the past. Uh, it we we fast. Uh, uh, move from our past forward, just uh, try to uh, rem uh, rem uh, 
remember our country three years ago. So uh, credit union support should not be like it was in Soviet times. Uh, our way uh, is should be in such environment when people uh, feel it uh, necessary to create credit unions, not because of the state, but in, uh, just people are uh, to understand that they will be socially protected that they will have communication inside of the community and uh, uh, sound economic effect. Uh, this is the sound civi uh, and civilized way of development uh, for dozens of uh, years in future. I would like to focus your attention also on that, that uh, uh, regretfully uh, in co contrary to the bank services, uh, credit unions are not well known. Uh, credit unions are thought to be a kind of collective farms uh, and only those people uh, who are not uh, well educated, they go to credit unions, but indeed they are real finances which can be get there or invested there. Uh, becoming a member, joining the credit union, you will have the right to take part in meetings of credit unions. You can nominate your candidature uh, for top management of credit unions. And uh, this is, in fact, uh, the family financing fee system, which is focused on problems uh, of uh, specific communities. The nature of credit union is different. It works for the interest in the interests of specific communities. They are not journalists uh, uh, who are guilty in the lack of information information about credit unions uh, and they concentrate attention, focus attention only on facts of violations in credit unions when money are abused. And I hope journalists will um, tell people uh, about such driver of, of further economic development as credit unions, such actions, such events as this one, which is a component of uh, uh, large scale uh, festival of credit unions, which will include a book fair <coughs> and uh, a hiking tour along the western Ukraine and the patriotic actions uh, and the uh, uh, final stage will be a planner of uh, masterpieces and pictures uh, produced five years ago. This is a charitable action. We would like to focus attention on credit unions uh, as uh, uh, being focused uh, on specific communities to find solutions uh, to the bottlenecks of such uh, communities. Uh, uh, taking into consideration their capabilities, uh, which are available in such communities, uh, uh, help them develop. Uh, Feder Cavalli, uh, who is a classic uh, professional of credit union, credit cooperation, uh, the, he, he said that credit cooperation uh, is uh, creating communities. So our task uh, as media persons uh, uh, who create images, uh, we should promote uh, and uh, uh, perform um, public awareness campaigns for credit unions. Uh, this uh, uh, will help uh, people to understand that uh, Ukrainian credit cooperation is uh, uh, creative uh, uh, and public even uh, uh, movement and spirituality moves it forward. Uh, and uh, on August 
at uh, 10 and 11 in three uh, uh, district uh, the festival will take place uh, our uh, friends from USA and other countries will also visit the festival. They were, in fact, co-founders, spiritual and uh, financial partners uh, when credit unions appeared, uh, for example, Vigoda uh, Credit Union. Uh, uh, COSIF Credit Union is a partner of Vigoda Credit Union and uh, this forum also uh, among its organizations where uh, state institutions and I call on you uh, to find in those places where you live uh, the sound credit unions uh, and fi find out uh, what programs these credit unions have uh, joined them, become members, and the forum will demonstrate that credit unions are uh, f f indeed real public financing which uh, can uh, restore economic component of Ukrainians' welfare and also improve our spirituality. Thank you very much to everyone for attention. Are there any questions? Please, we have a round of questions. Sharaf, Svetom Kramkuyam, Razom Program. So you found a wonderful place for your event. We see this in the picture. This is an acute topic. Que and the question to the Supreme Council. So we ask the deputy, it is stated that in uh, two and a half years uh, of Gondreva, uh, many banks were went bankrupt. Uh, the, these are 90 banks, and this person was not made responsible. She earned two million dollars, and uh, um, people suffered. And uh, out of these 400 unions that exist now. Uh, how many of them are viable and um, who delegate the members to this influential union in order to elaborate a new concept? I do not know about Gontereva. So the president uh, uh, supports her. This is his person. So uh, about the unions, maybe I will answer this question. 20 Eight in Ukraine, there were about 800 credit unions. Now we have 400. But we should not confuse the situation with the situation in the bank uh, sector. Uh, so subjective and objective uh, circumstances uh, included. Uh, in 2008, uh, about 50% of the credit unions failed. And uh, all others, you should understand that the credit unions, fi 50 million, and uh, if you compare it with the bank, the different figures appear. So uh, I agree with Mr. Manuk. We do not need the support of the state. They just should not interfere. And uh, because small credit unions, uh, uh, they just close down. And more than 100 uh, in Crimea and in occupied territories closed down. So. 2012-2017, uh, we can count uh, the bankrupted credit unions uh, on the fingers of one hand. So small unions now, they just close down. Because the state believed that this is not necessary and um, also uh, we are confused. We are confused with these people who make fraud, and some journalists. They try to find some bugs, but uh, people understand that uh, 
they just put uh, it in the newspaper that uh, uh, these are the unions, but uh, if we consider the period from 2012 till 2017, then we will see that we can count all these uh, credit unions uh, and uh, the uh, fingers of one hand. Mm. We expect that during the first forum, there was a, a that we will have 100 participants. We have uh, friends who will come from the United States, from Canada. This is the international status of the forum. And uh, Ukrainian credit unions, they have uh, good results of their 50 years of cooperation. They are powerful in the United States. They are in Canada. And uh, we show also the pictures. And in Ukraine, in Australia, in different regions, uh, usually they finance cultural events in their communities. They preserve cultural identity. And this brings them closer to Ukrainian communities. They support financially the communities. And you can come to Chicago. And you will see that uh, there, there is uh, some of Polish Union and the uh, cultural institutions. They, uh, they really. Uh, supported and um, uh, where they have uh, entropy and freedom, they have big support, not from the state, but for, from self-organization. And uh, Victor, we can discuss this issue with him, but he looks even f more forward. We have the directive of the European Union that guarantees some funds to national institutions, and uh, we should be based on this. So. Uh, whether it should be supported by the state, we can discuss this, but I believe that I support your position that we should be self-organized and we should have uh, our own fund of guarantees. And uh, here I believe we can get support from you. And also about international situation. So now in Austria, in uh, Vienna, we had the um, World Forum of the World um, uh, Credit Unions Council. And um, also on Friday, uh, starting Thursday, the delegation headed by the World uh, uh, Union Credit Union um, and uh, uh, different participants, they come to Ukraine for four or five days, and there will be a meeting in Kiev and in Lviv. So uh, world community, they value what is done by credit unions and help for further development of credit unions in Ukraine. And the uh, Ukrainian federal community will get the reward from the World Credit Union Association. And um, this will be done during this conference in Vienna. And, uh, also, Piotr said about Canada, about the United States. If you have come to Brazil, Argentina, Paraguay, all elite, uh, they uh, remind uh, about Ukrainians uh, and uh, the sphere of cooperation, that they have uh, one of the best uh, self-organization structure of people. And uh, I met uh, Gravachuk, and he is the most uh, uh, the richest person in agribusiness, and he is really uh, a renowned person in agribusiness. And he said how the world will move forward and how it will self-organize and the, the prospects of the development. This will be high-tech development, but uh, the main is self-organization, and uh, uh, they will uh, cooperate. They will uh, establish contacts, uh, make associations. And uh, the world uh, is now in the new era. And uh, political elite in Ukraine and all connections, uh, we try to deal with the past. But it became obsolete, and we should move forward. And I would like to say that today's event is the example of information cooperation. So we provide information that credit unions are alive, and they will continue living. and uh, we. Uh, should help them with the um, legislative initiatives in order 
to provide proper information to society that credit unions is a healthy organism. This is the system that allows not only to save uh, villages, not only to help uh, the poor, but also this is the system that can help uh, to develop community in the interest of the communities.